Hundreds of thousands of fans flood New York's Javits Center for the annual Comic-Con convention. While embracing the fandom is always fun, it's the stories behind the costumes that provide children an outlet for self-identity and expression, something that these authors have been writing to for years. For me, it's definitely very important because growing up, I didn't have that. Growing up, I had to find a character and make them look like me because kids grow up themselves as something they can aspire to in their imagination. You connect with the character. It's yeah. easier to see yourself. It's easier to empathize. It's easier to understand. It's what we all experience as readers. I mean, really, the push now is to include every reader. Everyone has the same experience, but if you don't see yourself, you don't get to connect the same way. Tell me about the comic that you created. The comic I created is called Kimmy Cosmic. A lot of people feel isolated identity issues where they're trying to figure out who they are and they can't connect to another person. I thought about this, this, this girl who lives in the middle, on the edges of the space, and she's the one of a kind. She's the only person with brown skin. Everyone else around her has blue skin. Um, so she feels alone, she feels isolated, but she has a history, something that's very special about her. Diversity and inclusion in comics give students a way to see themselves take the lead role. And some educators believe that these books are an added tool in their arsenal, especially for students who may struggle with traditional learning. In school, we always have those set books, Catcher mm -hmm. in the Rye, Scarlet Letter, all the teens have to read. Bringing comics in poses a different way of learning. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. I think the biggest thing that I would want to tell an educator who wanted to use graphic novels or comics would be that it's not an either or proposition. It's very much about reading more, not reading less, or, you know, substitutions, push some of those older books or like less relevant books, you know, a little further back and that's fine. And then they can find them in the public library or in their school library. But I do think it is important to have things that are topical and um, really capture the experience of students today. I'm Linda Gaudino, News 4 New York.